Hi Libra, in today's reading we'll be looking at whoever is on your mind, October 1st to the 15th. It will be sort of a bonus reading for you Aquarius and Capricorn because I missed your readings last week. While I filmed them I didn't think they were my best in a way. It was like, I don't know, it wasn't good work. Happy birthday, Libra. Some of you, your birthday is here, end of September, October. Libra. Eight of Wands. Apologize, Libra. Card fell on the ground there. King of Swords. Ooh, there's communication. Someone's wanting to express something to you. There's passion here. Back and forth messages. We have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Person on your mind. Sun. Yeah, whoever's on your mind is very attracted to you. Physically, mentally. But definitely physically. Ace of Wands. I need more clarity. This can be someone who's very competitive. I am getting someone with a sharp tongue. They say it like it is. Sometimes they can be a little bit intimidating. Yeah, in terms of emotions, I'm not sure they hold back a lot, but they are lusting for you. You make them very happy. Why is Eight of Wands here? Let me do some clarifying. Sometimes Eight of Wands can talk about distance, right? Four of Swords. Yeah, if you have been on a break with this person, some of you don't know them. And this is someone you will be communicating with, getting to know. They want to date you with the Sun, Fifth House. It's something more playful. Others of you, it's unfinished business. Someone from the past that you have been on a break from and they'll be coming back around. We'll see. Clarify King of Swords. They're thinking a lot about you, the messages that were exchanged. Why is King of Swords here? Page of Pentacles, yeah. This person is wanting to invest in you. Some of you they have in the past. They ha they're very hopeful when it comes to you, Libra, and where this connection can go. They're bringing you a friendship your way, but pages are messengers. Why is Sun here? Wow, all of your cards so far are upright, and we are doing reversals today. Clarify Sun. Someone who wants to communicate clearly. King of Knight of Swords, they're rushing in, can be impulsive. Oh yeah, they could be wishing you a happy birthday. I'm definitely seeing that with the sun. Can be birth, right? So birthday. Birthday wishes. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this may be a situation that was stuck. Things weren't moving forward. Or someone's been dragging their feet when it comes to an offer. And it can be because of distance. We do have travel here. Three of one six of swords if someone was already committed they're saying they went back to that person they were a liar a cheater i don't know why that seven of swords was trying to come through earlier as well justice yeah things aren't moving forward there's stagnancy here but they are wanting to express something to you here Ace of Wands Justice. Yeah, careful of the third parties or someone that was non-committal because we have Three of Cups, Five of Wands, 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. In that case, there's no commitment here, right? And they're saying you know what you need to know about the situation. It's toxic. Some of you, this can be a toxic long-term relationship someone's trying to break free from. Right? Justice can be legal matters. A marriage. Some sort of contract. What is this person's intentions towards Libra? October 1st to the 15th. King of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords. Yeah, definitely. If it's someone with... This is their past. This is straight out highlighting a third party. A X, I don't know. It can be their significant other something, some relationship. This person was deceptive, emotionally manipulative. They're wanting to communicate with you, but why? And others of you, it's just someone who's focused on themselves. You know, take that third party out of the picture. It's someone new you're getting to know. They're very focused on their money, their finances, but they're looking in your direction. Do you see how he's holding on to that wand? And it's like they're leaning in your direction, but it's not quite at that stage of, you know, solid commitment. But there's potential here with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's potential here. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. What action will this person take? They don't know what to do, High Priestess. And as a result, they hold back. What action will this person take? It's confusion. What should I do? Knight of Wands in reverse. Well, some of them are scared if they were to come towards you, especially if you, you've been avoiding them. They feel you're upset because they wasted your time or you think you wait they wasted your time. So they don't know how to approach you. So there's intimidation in that case. What action will this person take? They want to communicate with you. I see that clearly. But they're not. Knight of Wands strength. It's like you're coming through as a missed opportunity because wands, fire, talk about initiative, taking action. They're coming through in reverse. And we saw all that stuck energy, right? Seven of wands, guarded. They feel like you're moving on, that you're doing well in your life. You're very abundant. I feel like some of you will get a birthday wish or something. Justice, Nine of Cups. Clarify High Priestess in reverse. It's not quite... Oh yeah, this person is saying, I don't have all the answers. They want to come towards you. Their intuition feels blocked. So it's like I'll leave it to the universe. If it's meant to be, it will be. Look at your energy. Hermit, Magician, Six of Wands, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. This person sees your worth. They do. But they also feel that you have other people competing for you that want you. You're very desirable. Some of you may be popular on some sort of public platform. They see all of that. Others of you, you have no idea who I'm talking about. High Priestess in reverse. This is someone that you're manifesting. Meanwhile, I feel like you're focused on yourself, your business. And King of Swords, your other half. Someone you may potentially have children with or they may have a child from a previous connection. 
because I see a very positive energy in their feelings. And there's divine timing at play here in your, in your love life. So don't lose hope. Keep your thoughts positive is your advice if you're completely single. How is this person viewing Libra? Well, I already saw a glimpse into how they're viewing you. It's like putting you on a pedestal, but let's see. Queen of Pentacles, exactly. Stable, grounded, humble, someone who has their life together. But some of you may have a decision to make, Two of Swords. And others of you, again, you can't make that decision. You don't know this person. It's new love. She's blindfolded. She can't see. High Priestess, intuition was blocked. Some of you may have a decision here first half of October between two people. You do have options. At least someone is perceiving that you do have options. Uh. <laughs> do you have any doubt that this is your reading? Look at you, Justice. Someone could be viewing you as someone they want to marry. Again, justice, legal documents, right? Some of you are completely single. You're attracting a marriage partner here is what I'm seeing. And justice will be served. The scales will be balanced. Whatever happened to you, there was some deception here in the past that they were wanting to highlight. Yeah, someone sees you as very much empowered. Someone who tries to do the right thing. You're a good person. I don't really know how to... You're a good person, inside and out. Down to earth, fair, honest. What is the potential outcome between Libra and the person on their mind, please? Outcome. Your cards are really taking a long time here. Star, five of swords. Well, if you've had a recent argument, conflict with someone, there is potential to heal things if that is what you are wanting. Potential outcome. If you're committed, married, you know, your person does not want to go anywhere. They'll be defending you, your honor, your family. But there's someone here in the outcome that's very protective over their home, their family. Right? So they may be very... discerning in terms of who they let in, right? Their close circle here but I see stability some of you moving in together someone fighting for this connection very protective energy page of swords empress if you recently moved distanced yourself from someone they've been watching you and missing you Seven of Wands, please. What is this about? Hermit. Yeah, someone's watching you online. Thinking a lot about you. We have Virgo Aquarius coming through strongly.
all I can tell you, it's like a moving in together energy. Someone who's wanting to date you. There's messages being exchanged. They see a lot of potential. I see stability in your outcome. Moving in together. That's what I keep hearing. Four of Wands. Celebration. I'm not taking up Libra and the person on their mind, please. It didn't make sense to me, which is why I'm not taking. We'll take that. Cultural differences. Family does not approve. They fear losing money. Money is a higher priority. We saw that in, in intentions here. Someone very focused on their finances, right? King of Pentacles. There may be distance because we have the globe here. Or there may be differences in backgrounds, families, right? Clouded judgment can't see the situation clearly. Yeah, if you have someone specific on your mind, their judgment is clouded. They can't see things clearly, which is why, you know, I'm not seeing solid action, but Wheel of Fortune can be unpredictable. So it's sort of up in the air, right? Some of them will impulsively make a move towards you. The intensity scares them. They control their desire. And we saw that with Emperor, right? Someone who was saying... I don't know what to do, so they hold back. Their environment is toxic, negative, negative influences are gossip, so there may be people around them. We have afraid of the unknown, uncertain of the outcome, uprooting their life, experiencing a tower moment. It's almost like the universe is conspiring behind the scenes, so your past can meet here in some way. Someone may be moving, relocating, which is why this person's very focused on their stability. They're uprooting, it seems. Ooh, some of you, this is completely, you know, it's a new person we're getting here. A lot of you, I feel like this is a singles reading and you don't see this coming. If you're of childbearing age or if you want children, they're strong, right? Reference to children here. Wow. And we have the sun and the moon, which is the masculine and feminine, right? Yin and yang. If someone chose another person over you, that is the person I think you cut out, right? You may have blocked them. And there's someone new coming in for you. Oh yeah, I chose the other person because they don't challenge me like you do. Every day I wonder if I made the wrong choice. That person's still very attracted to you, right? Because, well, you did make them very happy in whatever situation they're in. It's very toxic. It was supposed to be over a long time ago, but I'm afraid to let go. I'm trying to sort out my feelings and make sense of it all. Can you please give me two cards for the new person? I'd go for the new because this is very promising. In their feelings, it's someone who knows what they want. They're not... See, King of Swords is not someone who makes decisions based on emotions. It has to make sense logically, right? And that person sees a lot of potential. They're very hopeful very hopeful when it comes to this situation. I've been keeping us a secret for so long. I feel nobody will understand our love. I've tried to replace you, but no one compares to you. <laughs> My love is starting to grow stronger and stronger each day. I didn't realize just how much I really do love you. Yeah, this person, 
exactly you make me feel happy and complete your presence soothes me son you make them very happy i'm putting up a facade to the world but i'm a mess inside i never appreciated you until you were gone someone's missing you if you know them you've left an undeniable mark on my heart i've been forever changed but even how this starts out if it's a new person they may be very secretive or guarded when it comes to revealing their feelings to you they may have other options with i've tried to replace you it's casual dating right they're trying to find the best fit but the more they get to know you the more time they spend with you their love will grow stronger and stronger there is strong potential this king of swords and queen of pentacles i'm feeling it Ooh, should I take them because we had secret here I've been keeping a secret from you and I'm now ready to reveal it to you some of you is the universe speaking the universe been keeping a secret from you you were blindfolded accept my romantic gesture I want to experience something meaningful with you dating you is like being in a maze I'm trying to find clever ways to win you over feel like you have an offer here coming in for you and just wait and see I'm going to make it up to you if that's the last thing I do something about timing and work being their priority I have other priorities that need my attention right now please be patient that has to do with that up uprooting their life experiencing a tower moment right they're trying to get their life together but they're saying just wait and see i'm going to make it up to you so if they have been distracted wow i love this reading it's a really i'm getting a very positive feeling libra from this reading not many challenges here all your major actually all your major arcana came through upright what advice do you have for Libra, October 1st to the 15th? Spellbound, are you manifesting this person? We have caught up in your spell, just be careful what you wish for. Your manifestation is coming, is it truly what you want? So again, <laughs> I can't help but be drawn back to you know universe, higher power. Just wait and see, I'm going to make it up to you. Feel like this is the higher power speaking to you. There's something better, something you've wished for, you've been manifesting, you're waiting, and the universe is getting ready to deliver. Look at that, there's some heavy cards in this deck. You have spellbound and love wins. No matter how long it takes, true love always wins. Cupid's love brew is being made special just for you to win your heart. I'm telling you, that's why it's getting such a positive vibe here with this reading. I feel like it's someone you won't see coming and they have pure intentions towards you. It'll start off as a friendship, something slow, right? Slow moving, but then things will really... They're saying wait. Feeling divine timing at play. Don't feel rushed to make a decision. Okay, this is for those of you where two of swords, you had a decision between two people, right? We have don't feel rushed to make a decision right now. Spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy. And it can be around the time you meet this person. If you haven't met them, you may have another option, right? And they're saying hidden blessings. Things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. Exactly. There's a higher power at work. Everything will turn out for your highest good. I feel that in this reading. It's very positive. And justice, the skills. We have justice here twice. Justice will be done to those who oppose you. The truth will be revealed. I think I'll leave you there, Libra. So if you've been done wrong, the skills will be balanced. But I feel like the skills will be balanced in the form of a very fulfilling relationship here that is coming through. But yes, happy birthday again. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.